BlackRock said that Shiba Inu will be worth 10 cents after Siberian comes out. In an interview a few short weeks after BlackRock, the biggest asset management company in the world, put in an application to start a spot Bitcoin ETF. During an interview with Fox Business, Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, said that Bitcoin is a foreign asset. Fink said that instead of putting money into gold to protect against inflation, buyers could buy Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies, which are similar to Shiba Inus in many ways. He said that the job of cryptocurrency is to turn gold into a digital form. Fash also said that BlackRock had worked a lot with authorities in the past on ETF applications, and he said he hoped that the company's track record would help get this latest plan approved. He said that what they were trying to do with crypto was to make it more accessible and cheaper for buyers. Even though the CEO of BlackRock said he was afraid of cryptocurrency at first because it was used to pay for illegal activities, he has since changed his mind about it. Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies are assets all over the world. He said that it is not based on any one coin. Because of this, it can be seen as an advantage that people can use instead. Last month, BlackRock was the first company to apply to start a spot Bitcoin ETF. Soon after, other big companies, like Fidelity, did the same. Over the past month, the price of Bitcoin and some other cryptocurrencies, like the Shiba Inu, has been going up. Last month, the price of Bitcoin hit its highest point in more than a year. At the same time, some of the biggest names in standard banking kept getting into the cryptocurrency market. Last month, the value of the coin reached a high of $31,460. Since then, it has lost some of those gains. This is the highest the price of the coin has been in the last 14 months. It went above the 52-week high it had reached before. It happened at the end of June, which backs up and adds to what Larry Fink, the CEO of BlackRock, said last month when he said that the digitization of gold is a big reason for cryptocurrency's great success. He said that crypto is a foreign asset during an interview on Fox Business. It isn't built on any one currency, which means that it could be an asset that people can play as an alternative. After his second quarter earnings report came out, the CEO of BlackRock, a company that manages assets worth $8.50 trillion, went on CNBC. He said that over the past five years, more and more gold investors have asked what part crypto plays. He also talked about how exchange-traded funds ETS, help make gold more accessible to everyone, just as they could do with crypto. BlackRock, which manages more money than any other company in the world, is now looking at the Bitcoin market. At the moment, BlackRock stock is worth a staggering $10 trillion. But their investment strategy is hard work because they pick and choose which alternative cryptocurrencies to invest in based on how well they fit into their general plan for the future. Larry Fink, the CEO of the company, has talked a lot about the importance of open, permissionless, and decentralized alternative cryptocurrency, which could change the way the financial industry works. In a 2018 interview that was just found, Fink said that the investment company was looking into blockchain technology and cryptocurrencies. But Fink said he had no plans to invest in Bitcoin soon. Now that we are living in the present, things are different. BlackRock has been forced to say that it wants to invest in cryptocurrencies and plans to do so. Also, the fact that BlackRock and Coinbase work together suggests that they might be interested in other cryptocurrencies that are sold on the popular exchange. People have talked about Shiba, Inu, and other altcoins that meet the conditions of being open, permissionless, and decentralized. Even though people like Hillary Clinton are always skeptical and negative about cryptocurrencies and warn about the possible risks. The way the financial industry looks at digital assets has changed a lot since BlackRock entered the market. BlackRock's move to invest in the cryptocurrency market caused this change. Their focus on specific alternative cryptocurrencies that meet their needs shows that they are becoming more aware of how powerful blockchain technology and open financial systems can be. BlackRock is still looking into and investing in the cryptocurrency market, which is a reminder to buyers that the market is always changing and they need to keep up with it. Those who want to make the most of the opportunities should know how important it is to subscribe to reliable sources and keep up with what's going on in the coin market every day. Larry Fink, the famous CEO of BlackRock, 
shocked the world last week when he made a surprise crypto flip. He has said that he thinks cryptocurrencies will become more important than traditional currencies like the US dollar. Fink's words come after he shocked everyone last week when he said he was going to flip a cryptocurrency. Importantly, because crypto is so international, it will not be tied to a single coin or its value. Fink, who only a week ago said that Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies could. In a big change from his previous stance, which was that Bitcoin was nothing more than an index of money laundering, he now says that it will revolutionize finance. Said to CNBC. Da Vinci was one of the first people to invest in Bitcoin. Jeremy told investors to buy Bitcoins in 2013 and asked present owners to save Shiba Inu at the beginning of this year. Jeremy became well known after he posted a video in 2013 in which he told people to put at least $1 into Bitcoin. A decade later, the person who supported Bitcoin showed interest in SHIB, which showed that it could make the holder's life better in the future by opening doors. The Bitcoin maximalist released a new video on Tuesday. In it, he talked about how the Shibarium Layer 2 network could affect the future of SHIB. Jeremy saw Shibarium's promise and said that if the Layer 2 solution works out the way it looks like it will, SHIB could do very well in the indexes. He said this after he saw that Shibarium had a lot of promise. Wow! I've heard that Shiba Inu is working on adding a second layer on top of Ethereum to help the cryptocurrency get away from its image as a meme coin. That's neat. He said that this would be something that would be interesting to see. Along with Jeremy, a few other investors thought that Shibarium might be the only way to get SHIB closer to the direction of 11 units. At the beginning of this year, the Shibarium team said that every time a transaction is made on the network, a certain number of SHIB tokens will be destroyed. According to the information on the block, the number of homes with a Shiba Inu SHIB went up by a lot in July. Based on information from the blockchain analytics platform, the overall number of SHIB addresses grew by 115% each week. Also, the number keeps going up. In the last week alone, it went up by 22%. At the moment, the SHIB database has 3.51 million addresses, of which 1.24 million aren't zero. SHIB broke through the resistance level of 80 units just as the number of addresses started to go up, which is another strange thing. For a few weeks, this level was hard for the asset to break through. On the other hand, growth has come from getting new users and money. The latest rise in the number of addresses could be because Shibarium is about to come out. Shiba Inu is one of the best-known coin projects right now, and the Layer 2 network is one of the most important things the company has put out in the last three years. Many people think that the price of the token will go up a lot and stay up for a long time after the new blockchain is made public. Another possible explanation is that the SHIB metaverse will be released later this month, possibly in Toronto, Ontario, Canada, during the Blockchain Futurist Conference. Marcy Jastro, who advises SHIB on the metaverse and is one of the conference speakers, has confirmed that the team will show the world in two weeks. The CEO of Stock Talk.